Using inner HTML is just too easy. Let's make it more complicated. Why would I want to make it more complicated? Partially to help you understand how the DOM works, how elements are constructed, and because later we're going to be doing a lot more to the elements that we add to the page in a future project, and because doing it the complicated way will also make it slightly easier to understand what's going on under the hood when we get to React. So let's do it the hard way. It's a very structured way, but it's definitely a little uglier. But we don't mind. We're here to learn, right? We're not here to make it easy. We're here to work out our brains. All right. To make an apple pie from scratch, you must first create the universe. Let's create an element out of nowhere. None of this template string with a paragraph in it. Let's make ourselves a paragraph out of nothing. Let's do it in the console first. Let's just see what happens. So to deal with the DOM, we write document. And this time, we're going to say document dot create element. How does document dot create element work? What if we just saw it in the list there? Ooh, neat, document create element. We don't know how it works. We could go out to MDN, Mozilla Developer Network, developer.mozilla.org, look it up. Let's do it. Let's search the docs for create element. Here we go, document.create element. In an HTML document, the document.create element method creates the el HTML element specified by tag name or an HTML unknown element if tag name isn't recognized. Here's the syntax, document.create element. The parameter is a tag name and it looks like there's an uh, optional second argument called options, which is used for custom elements, which we're going to pretend we don't even know exists because we don't need to complicate our brains with that information right now. So document.create element, just pass it a tag name. So say document.create element p. Let's save that to a variable. Const p equals. And let's take a look at p. There it is, it's a paragraph. Now that's not on the page. It's just this HTML element object that's floating out there in space. Not actually on the page yet. To add it to the page, we need to append it to an existing element. We need to stick it into some parent. Like say, our users div down here. So let's create a paragraph, document.createElement. That's a paragraph. There's nothing in it yet. It has no content. So let's give it some content. Let's say, oops, let's say const p so we can do something with this. Const p equals document.create element p. Then we could say p.text content. And we could assign that the string we had earlier. Use a template literal except we're not going to put the paragraph tags in there, right? We're already dealing with a paragraph. So I'll just say dollar sign curly brace username, closing curly brace, comma space, dollar sign curly brace age, close curly brace. So now I've created a paragraph. I've put that thing in it, but it's still just floating out there. It's not actually in the DOM yet. To do that, we need to append it to something. So notice that elements have a method called append child. So we could say, what do we want to append it to? Where are we sticking this on the page? We're already sticking it somewhere. 
Where are we putting it? Yeah, in this div here, users. So I got rid of the line where we grabbed that, I think. No, it's up here, users. Document.query selector, hash users. So I can just say users dot append child and pass it in P. And it should work the same. Refresh. Name. Mm. Sam, I don't think I've said anything to you yet today. Kind of hiding. There is no hiding. Age. Well, you can't be bread pudding years old, unfortunately. It's not letting me do that. So you'll just have to be 908. There you go. Still totally works. Can I still do more than one of them? I've got Dana. She's 31. There we go. Totally works. So we created an element from scratch. We set the text content of that element, but the element is not on the page. It's not in the DOM yet. We have to append it to something that's already in the DOM. So we just call append child, pass in our new paragraph, and it's there. And working just as it did before. Gnarly. Git add, take it from our working copy to our staging area. Then we'll commit it. Append the user as a proper DOM element. Works the same, but we're keeping things objects. And we like objects. They're interesting. 